Right, so we've got our selector here. We're going to take off and change the O-ring here. These tools actually look, you know, like a spade, but they're actually made for taking O-rings on and off without damaging them. Like that. And we throw that away because we don't need that. Likewise, this one at the bottom. A little bit of grease is the word. Then we can go into our kit. There's the O ring. Pop. Pop. And the same with this one. We'll put plenty of grease on. In fact, we've got so much grease on the hands, I'll just use that stuff. Pop that O ring onto there. And this one goes in the bottom like that. And that's nicely free and moving. So now we can put this into here. Now pay attention when you do this because this this these bolts here aren't equal. Say all men are e uh, born equal, but some aren't. No, no, no. So what we're gonna do is if you can see down here, you can see the flat here. And we'll arrange that flat into there. But we're going to turn that so that's at a place where we can get the bolts in. There. So, there, there. Um, now we keep looking at this piece here. Turn the shaft till it's flat. Push this in a bit. And now we're going to arrange to see where the bolt holes are and hey presto, there they are. Now we can push that in. Can we? Yeah, there we go, that's in. And then, three bolts. And we're going to put some thread lock on those. You see them down here? All the bolts seem to be the same size except for this long one that goes in in here. They're all the same length except for this one. So you can't really go wrong on that. Okay, so now we're going to torque them down 25 newton meters. Click, click, click. There we go. So that bit's done. Next thing we're going to put these little C clips in. These little clip retainers. So you see there's a hole at one side, it's like it's folded over. This bit goes towards the spring. Okay. So get a pair of needle nose pliers and this is why we put this piece in first. So needle nose pliers, push the spring back like that, drop the clip in and do the same for the other side. The cup towards the spring. That is all there is to it. That puts our diff lock in and out. Now what we've got to be careful of is that that ring in there doesn't jump off whilst you're assembling it. So now is a jolly good time to put the spring in and the ball. There's the ball. Put a little bit of oil in it. Like that. Ball. Spring. Because this will lock that shaft from moving. And then it's just a little grub screw, 6mm. So we'll just push that spring down, make sure he's down. What oh, the chance of that sitting there? Okay. Now, six millimeter key. Where is it? Right, so we're back with the Allen key. There's the thing we've put, cleaned the threads up, and now we'll put this in. Now, sometimes these are a bit tricky to get in. Oh, that's going to go good. Yeah, just flush. Just flush. 
I don't wind it in too much otherwise the spring won't have place to come backwards and forward. And then we're just going to get a punch and a hammer and just put one punch between the aluminium and the, the, uh, the grub screw. The other part is there is for your uh, diff lock switch. We'll make sure that the uh, linkage all works. Yeah. Now this is why it's important to get this to lock into this ring. Because it drops, <laughs> it drops down. You, you'll know if you've had a go at these. So you can see the spring's under tension there. I'm holding the ring. And then it dropped in. That's how it's supposed to go. That's, that's good. That's very good. Uh, switch. Oh, these things. We'd better test this out before we put it back in. Let's clean it up first.